Hello friends and welcome into the studio. Today we will be drawing denim. Those are some of the tools that I'll be using. Uh, in the spirit of honesty, I want to let you guys know that I'm using a Copic marker up front here. I'm using a Copic Prussian blue, and that is because the Prussian blue and the manganese blue, which is the second marker that you'll see me using, uh, I have blown those two markers out. I went to go grab them out of my chroma set, and they were completely just frayed and dried out. My day job, as many of you guys know, is a sports artist, and those two colors, blue, is used a lot in almost every single sports team's jersey. And so, yeah, those colors are well worn out. So I went to um, Michael's and I picked up those two colors in Copic until Chroma gets me uh, some placement blues. So when you're doing a blue jean, even if it's a lighter blue jean, you start with the darker Prussian blue like I put down, and then you kind of pull it out a little bit here with the manganese blue. And as you go into that darker color, you end up getting um, a little bit dark, uh, like a little bit lighter blue as you pull it out. And then you go in with the uh, manganese blue on its own, and you'll get an even third lighter color. And that's kind of how you shade with the markers. Uh, and then you see me go in with a much lighter chroma marker and kind of fill in here. And now you're starting to see the gene kind of gene pattern kind of form. So jeans denim is is one of the harder, more challenging fabrics to do. But I find that when you put in the darker blue up as it bunches up around the butt, the waist, then you go into lighter colors as it goes down the leg. It really gives that effect. And for me, I'm about to show you the biggest trick, which is color pencils. So if you use color pencils and you rub it, rub it as you see me rub here, not push hard, not use the tip, Turn it a little sideways and use the side. The rubbing pattern kind of mimics the, the natural pattern of denim anyway. And so you get a really natural look. And now you're kind of seeing how it's lighter on the leg, darker in the bunched up area around the waist. And that's what you want for your denim. It gives that effect and makes it look real. If you're really enjoying these videos, please comment below. Please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of them, subscribe, and these will be in your feed. I'm going to be doing more of these kind of videos where I draw, I speed it up, and I give you guys a little bit of a uh, tutorial and tell you guys a little bit of what I'm doing. Now you see me go in with a little bit with the white color pencil and the white Signo pen, just highlighting a little bit of the uh, detail just to drive it home a little bit and shading along the bottom to make sure everything looks right. These little details are important. Thank you for sticking around this long and I can't wait to see everyone next time. Stay safe.